And it all happened so fast. That's what drivers who got stuck in flash flooding told us. KMBC 9's Peggy Bright is live now along Brush Creek. Peggy? Well, Kelly, the ground is already saturated, storm drains are overwhelmed, and the result is that creeks, streams, and rivers are jumping their banks. And I didn't want to be on TV for this. <laughs> Diane Pacheco found out the hard way when she was traveling on Emanuel Cleaver Boulevard today. Diane says she saw some water, but didn't think it was deep until she got halfway through it. That's when she saw the current rushing across the road and into her car. I stalled just about at the end once I was through the water, but it was very scary to think about. You know, you see all of those cars that are washed away in floods, and then uh, it was very scary. Diane says she hopes that anyone who sees water going over the road will think about her story before they drive into it. We're live along Brush Creek. Peggy Bright, KNBC 9 News. And that was one of several locations firefighters were called in to help out today. Some of the firefighters pushed Diane's car to get it out of the deepest water.